Hi everyone, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Yesterday I got a cool notification on my Supernode A6 and it's about the new update 0.375 and it promises to bring some really cool things to the table. So let's check it out. Here is the update 375 for May and uh, let's go through the release notes and check things out to see what we got. The first thing listed is that the Supernote account registration is now added as a new feature. So assume that it's possible now to uh, register your account from the device directly and you don't have to go online on another device and do it. However, since my account has already been registered, I already have that so I can't really test that. But the second one is the one that's actually really the big deal. That is the Dropbox authorization and synchronization. I haven't done it yet and that's because I wanted to film the first experience and so that you guys actually can see how the experience goes of registration, authorization of your existing Dropbox account and then I'm going to start testing out to see how it syncs and how it actually works. So let's just press on authorization. And now he's getting the verification code. I got the verification code. And now I'm gonna do the authorization with my phone. So now I have Dropbox verification success. So let's check it out. As soon as I registered on uh, Dropbox, the Supernote itself automatically changed. There was nothing that I needed to do on it. And now I have these options and it seems that I'm hooked up with my Dropbox. So this was a super painless uh, type of procedure. And now I have an option of uh, setting synchronization folders. And if we go there, I'm probably gonna get my device folders. Yep. So these are the device folders that I want to synchronize and it says Supernote on top. Uh, I hope that what we get is that in Dropbox, I'll have a Supernote folder and then this folder structure of what I select in the Dropbox itself. So let's select these guys. Okay, maybe not that, but actually go back. And let's, uh, yeah, let's synchronize everything except the documents because the documents is 100 megs and that's gonna be too long. But this is sufficient. This is 40 megabytes of synchronization. So I'm just gonna save and go to synchronize. So I'm just gonna press synchronize and let's see the progress. Oh, wow, that's, <laughs> okay, that's new. Uh, the synchronization is now blisteringly fast as you would expect. One of the updates is also the synchronization optimizations and speed. So far it's going good. So let's see, um, since we're now uploading 40 megabytes um, from the device, it's going relatively quickly. Since I don't have the fastest internet around, uh, this seems about right. This seems like a normal um, upload speed that I would have. All right, so that took about roughly two minutes, a little bit less than two minutes, which is, again, I think this is a limitation of my internet speed, so that just makes sense. Um, synchronization success. I'm gonna actually make a dedicated folder in my documents that's gonna be used for uh, Dropbox stuff so that I can, that I don't have to synchronize everything because I have quite a lot of documents here and that's gonna take quite a long time and I wanna have a controlled test here with a single document and single size to check the speed. Um, so now I'm gonna make a folder and overall I think you probably will start to notice that the device is way more responsive and way more precise and sensitive to the touches. So much so that the keyboard itself is now perfectly usable and look at this. So now I wanna make my Dropbox synchronization folder. And remember before that uh, I said that it was a little bit difficult that you have to um, shift and change the capital letters and stuff like that. It's already been improved. And again, things that haven't been listed in the uh, um, release notes are probably under various small improvements, but this is a very large improvement and important improvement for me because suddenly the keyboard is now very usable because check it out. I can now just go drop box um, sync ah he's not he's just capitalizing the first one he's not doing it on every new word all right but still 
a move in at the right direction but more importantly the sensitivity of the keyboard and how precisely it's detecting your touch it's now a very usable keyboard and that's a huge plus huge huge plus dropbox sync finally in there so now this is where i'm going to be dumping stuff from my dropbox so let's go into the dropbox and you can see how immediate the entire device is. It's, it's incredible. It really feels like you've upgraded the device with the hardware specs. And that's the, the, that's the value of proper optimization and iteration of software development. It's just so properly made. And there we go. I got my Dropbox sync. I'm gonna save it. All right, and let's now synchronize so that it's all synced. Let's see here, synchronization, probably gonna go fast because he's checking a few files. Yep, we're done, okay. So now I'm gonna go on to uh, Dropbox in my phone. And sure enough, on Dropbox, uh, I have the Supernode directory as expected. Everything else that I've shared is already here. So uh, yeah, I know my style is uh, empty, but let's see here, we got export, which has the documents and it loads properly. Okay, this is gonna take a while because it's a very large document. Screenshots, yep. Screenshots are there and they seem to be working properly. So I have my document. Yep, there it is, Dropbox sync folder. And here I wanna upload a file and I think I'm gonna use, um, let's see, yeah. JD990 user manual, um, that's almost 30 megabytes. So let's upload that. All right, it's uploaded. Let's check here and do a sync. Let's see how long it takes. This is a 30 megabyte document. It's already appearing here. So we already know that it's working. Let's just see what the synchronization speed is uh, because, oh yeah, absolutely it has been improved dramatically because that's one other improvement that's, oh my God, and it's done. I mean, if you check my original review of Note A6, you'll see how long it took to synchronize a 10 megabyte file. And you can now compare it this real-time performance with a 30 megabyte file. And here it is, Dropbox sync, and I have the user manual that I've just uh, added via my Dropbox. And this is absolutely phenomenal. I love how it works. It works exactly as you would expect it to, and it's flawless and it's super fast. So this is a huge improvement to the Supernote platform. Really, really excellent. Another important update in 3.7.5 is the ability to do word search on PDFs. Now this is something that you couldn't do before and now it has been added. So I'm in a PDF document and I'm just gonna search for uh, oscillator and you can already see that the keyboard the precision the responsiveness of the device all of these together things have really transformed the experience from um, I think I characterized it laid back uh, type of workflow. Well, it's definitely not laid back anymore. Now this is an eager device that's really ready for you to um, basically do what it wants you to and there we go. So now it's searching and it's performing the searches here. Uh, one thing that I would say about the search is that it would definitely be good to actually see uh, maybe the chapter and the title of the chapter and the number of the page. That would absolutely be helpful because right now I don't know where. I have multiple indications of oscillator but I don't know where they're located. Um, so definitely that's something that can uh, be improved. Let's see if maybe it changes somewhere else. No, so for sure we don't have an indication of pages or chapters where the word has been found. And if I type on it, I am taken there, but I don't have the word marked. I can't find it. So I think uh, this is definitely a step in the right direction, uh, but I would personally prefer to see a little bit more improvement here. Mainly it would be excellent to actually see chapter, title, and the page number next to the results so that we know what we're actually, uh, where we're looking for that word. And once we actually find the word, it would be nice to actually have an option of that 
word being selected somehow, highlighted or marked in some way. So I think with those additions, then the word search is going to be uh, spot on. Uh, the next update of 375 is that the um, split screen note now should support the templates. It's something that was always a problem before. So the last update added the ability to actually have correct notes and right now what I am expecting to happen is the ability to create a note, then go to that note, change the template and that template should appear here so that we have lines or squares or whatever. So let's say that um, this is my test note, All right. Wow, that was a wonderfully <laughs> written thing. And there we go, Behringer DeepMind. Okay, so we now have our, that's my test note, but I want to add a style to it. And you can again notice that the sensitivity and the overall responsiveness of the device has been amped up so much that it actually really feels like it received a hardware update. This is properly amazing and, and exactly what I was talking about. The touch responsiveness they've done a remarkable job here uh, the, the the improvement is huge i am going to continue uh, writing here and when i return to the document i should have both the new notes and more importantly the templates so let's just go back to the documents behringer deep mind I go into split screen mode. Ha <laughs> finally. Yes, it works. And now it's actually proper. So this is excellent, 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 excellent. Now it transforms it into a completely usable tool. And I'm very excited about this. I'm really happy to see I, it, there's there's just something about it when you see that the development team cares about their product that they're actually listening and busting their asses to actually improve it and they are doing it. The next feature says that uh, that EPUB file setting margin effect has been modified and yes it surely has been modified but I'm not sure that it's been calibrated correctly. I'm pretty sure they'll be fixing this uh, fairly soon because it's not working as predicted. So for example um, this is the normal margin. Let's go documents default settings first to see the document default settings here. So this is the default EPUB, right? And if I now go to formatting and I want to use everything else exactly the same, I just want to change my margins to wide. It's automatically going to use these things, normal fonts. Okay, let's maybe make smaller fonts, uh, medium row spacing, let's make it dense and widest margin. And uh, this is a bit of a problem because this is the widest margin that we have and it's definitely leaving a good finger of space real estate on the sides and I think that's way too much. More problematically, uh, when you go to the narrow, uh, it, it becomes <laughs> like a poem. Um, so I think uh, something got messed up here in some of the values. So maybe some, some conversion of some sort happened, but I'm fairly certain that the, there's gonna, this is something that a tiny little fix uh, in the next update is gonna fine tune, but it's definitely something that needs to be fine tuned because as it is now, the margins uh, definitely are not working as I would expect them to. And the final remaining updates in the release notes uh, mention optimized sync function and enhanced Supernote A6 touch uh, uh, screen accuracy. And as I've commented on those, oh my God, the synchronization has been <laughs> dramatically improved as has been the touch screen accuracy and responsiveness. So the overall impression is um, basically a transform device. So update 37.5, mm, 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 loving it. All right, that was really, really cool. Maybe I'm a little bit giddy about this because I'm a nerd, I'm a developer and all that kind of stuff. So I, it really does get me excited when I see a team that is so dedicated to their platform uh, like Rata is to the Supernode A6 and A5. Now I'm starting to understand how dedicated Rata is to their Supernode platform and that's absolutely fantastic. Adding a Dropbox to this 
voice environment, improving the responsiveness, the keyboard, the synchronization, um, all of these things are maybe individually, aside from the Dropbox, they sound small, but if you add one on top of the other and they keep adding up, you know, the split screen feature now working properly, etc, etc. It's just something that gets me excited about a platform and I, I honestly can't wait to actually see what the next update will bring because they're not just incremental, they are definitely improving the uh, overall experience. Update 0.375, I'm really impressed because it genuinely feels like you've received a bit of a performance bump on the device itself rather than just an OS update. And that's something that Remarkable used to do as well, I think update 1.6 or something like that, but this is actually more noticeable here. So yeah, this one really, really rocks. I recommend that you update as soon as possible so that you can enjoy the Dropbox, the, all of the new things. So job well done there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out the Instagram, Facebook and all of that other stuff because it really does help to grow the MyDeep Guide platform properly. Thank you so much guys for the support. The channel has passed 3000 subscribers. The next big milestone is 5000, then let's reach 10,000, see where it gets. I am very happy that you guys like my work and more videos are coming soon. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.